Where does our garbage go? Have you ever wondered that? Well, at MIT, a group of researchers are trying to answer that very question. They spend their days following trash with the end goal of improving recycling efforts. So Trash Tracks started last year in August of 2008, where we're taking little sensors, attaching them to garbage, throwing them away, and seeing where garbage goes in the city. And then we get this visual of where they're moving, how long they're in the system, and where they end up. If you were to know where your coffee cup that you spent five minutes with this morning were to spend you know, two months in the system, how would that change your attitude? So the way Trash Track works is we take these little sensors, and these are essentially just little cell phones. It contains of a GSM module, a SIM card, and a battery and an antenna right here. The sensors, which use Qualcomm technologies, send location updates via a text message about every 10 minutes. Those updates show where the trash has gone and where it might be heading. Information the group analyzes for up to three months, even if the trash heads overseas. So if it goes to China, we'll know. We did um, furniture. Households. I tagged a diaper. <laughs> Electronics. Some yard waste. I tagged some sticks. Cameras. We tagged some um, old washing machines. We tagged an old motor. So we're interested to see where do people take these things. If you dispose of it correctly, where does it go? If you dispose of it incorrectly, where does it go? So something like this, if we were to be throwing this away, um, we would kind of, we, every time we got a piece of trash, we would kind of analyze it. Where's the best way to hide this thing? So what we would do is we'd take our tag, slide it in there, and then I would take my two-part mixing foam and pour it over it, and then it makes it like this, rock hard and waterproof. Seattle is a test bed of the Trash Track project. Here, the team threw away about 3,000 sensors tracking the trash throughout the city. Here's a test deployment where a plastic milk jug moved almost 50 miles through the city and a computer screen moved almost seven miles. The interesting thing about trash is that people throw it away and you kind of think out of sight, out of mind. But having been a part of this project, it's very much not out of sight, out of mind. It um, has quite a life after you throw it away. And that's what makes the group so passionate about garbage. They see value in getting more information about the country's waste management system, which they hope will influence people's behaviors and recycling efforts. Uh, but you know, if you look in the long term, could we tomorrow have something like this, much, much smaller, just a very tiny chip that we can put in a pervasive way on all our objects. And could this thing allow us to do 100% uh, sorting uh, at the end of the life of every object? Could this allow us to potentially recycle everything and you know, know exactly all the things we are throwing away, what they are and how they should be treated? For Discovery News, I'm Casey D. Gardner.